Hey guys. So today I'm going to show you my oil control makeup routine that is quick and easy for those days where you are just in a rush, you need to go to work and you, you need to have that full face and makeup look, um, or you're just going out and you, you know, you're pressed for time. Whatever it may be, it's something that's very quick and easy. You use a lot of the same stuff that you're using on your face. You can use that on your eyes. So... Um, I wanted to show you guys this because it's something I've been doing a lot lately because I feel like I just am always pressed for time, um, but I still need to look like I am refreshed, ready to go, whatever. You could still have your hair messy like I am today. I was going to pull it down, but mm, it is too hot out for that shit. It's super quick and easy, great for oily skin. It's okay if you don't have oily skin, you don't have to use all these mattifying products like I did. You can totally set them out for something else, but it's summertime and this girl is oily, so we need to be controlling that oil because. I cannot deal with that. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so first I, I don't always start off with this, but for the sake of, you know, this whole oil control thing, we're going to start off with an oil control priming spray. And this one's by Scandinavia. And I just like to douse my whole face in it. And then I'm going to take this Acne Fighting Mattifying Moisturizer by Sephora. I love this moisturizer, but I pretty much like any, um, I was going to say oil free. I pretty much like any um, gel moisturizer, and that's what this is. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty clear. Um, but I take about two and a half pumps on the back of my hand. And I take the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation in the number 54. And I do a pump on the back of my hand and I just mix it together. And then I'm just going to apply it to my face. I literally do not ever use my fingers to apply foundation to the face. Today we're trying to be quick, so that's what we're going to do. I like to really just use um, my ring finger because it has the least amount of tension, but you know, you can use whatever works for you some reason I can't talk when I apply makeup. Um, it shears out the foundation a little bit and it also makes it so that it doesn't cake up on the skin because you're mixing it with the moisturizer. I don't always prime when I do this. Um, my biggest concern is oil and then also I have large pores, but layering this with the powder over top really does help um, fill in the pores. When you're doing it with your fingers though, you really want to make sure that you are blending it in with the skin really, really well because it can get streaky. So you can see that I didn't even use all of it, which is pretty cool and I still got great coverage and of course it's buildable. So I'm going to go in with this Master Conceal by Maybelline. Oh my God, I love it. I love this concealer. This is in the color Light. I love this. I use it as an eye primer. I use it as a highlighter. I use it as a ton of different things. So of course, applying it with your ring finger. And then I like to blend it out with a beauty blender. I know I make the ugliest faces when I blend out my concealer, but got to get all those little areas so it is what it is okay so now I'm going to use the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder underneath my eye to set everything I freaking love this powder and I just take what's left and use that on the top of my eye. And then I'm gonna use a mattifying foundation powder by Sephora um, to set my foundation. I'm using a mattifying foundation because we really want it to last all day um, for oily skin. If you don't have oily skin, you don't have to use mattifying. Then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Duo. And this is the one that's like the Laguna and Orgasm. I'm just going to use a fluffy angled powder brush on my cheekbones.
And then I always like to hit up here just to even everything out and then also down my neckline. I'm going to take my NARS Gilda blush, just a little bit of it. You really don't have to do this if you're really trying to go for a more um, a natural look. But this is almost like the same color as my bronzer. When it, well, when I put it on, it looks like it is anyway. But I just like to hit that right here and then blend it back. Hit the apples of the cheek and then blend it backwards. And take my Becca... Moonstone highlighter. I've been loving this. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you see that I, I like can seriously look at myself all day with this highlighter on. And that sounds really bad, but I don't mean like myself. Just the highlight. Like I could sit there in the mirror and just be like, ah, it's amazing. It really is. Like, are you freaking for real? Yeah. I might even need to blend that out a little bit. I love it. Why not throw some on that Cupid bell? Alright, so I'm going to go back to that bronzer and I'm going to use a... Oh, I hate when you pull your brush out and it's like flared out to the side from sitting wrong. Um, I'm going to use the E40 Blending Brush by Sigma and just tap into this bronzer that I used on my cheekbones. And I'm gonna buff that into the crease. And then just take a little bit of that Moonstone highlighter on my finger and tap that on the lid. For someone who swears by brushes, I'm like really going hard with my fingers right now. That might have been a little inappropriate. That's what she said, kind of a deal. Um, I'm going to do my eyebrows, and then we'll do eyeliner, mascara, and be done. I'm just going to use this uh, Bodyography dual-ended eyebrow brush. I got this in my, um, I was going to say Ipsy, but I'm not Ipsy anymore. I am Foxy Charm. <laughs> so I'm going to use this with my dip brow in the shade, what shade do I use? soft brown if you know how to use the dip brow the dip brow is so much easier than using anything else it really is It does take some time to get used to though. And then I'm going to use my Kat Von D Trooper Eyeliner and do a little wing. You don't have to do a wing. I don't always do a wing, but today I'm feeling a wing. So we're going to do a wing. So I planned to do just like a half wing and then that didn't work out. Because you know, wing eyeliner doesn't always work out the way it's supposed to. So don't even be thinking I'm like this big old pro because everybody's like, oh my god, your eyeliner is perfect. How do you do it? No. Sometimes it takes me seven tries to get it right. And I can still tell right now it's uneven. So we're just going to get over it. We're just, you just got to get over it sometimes. And then... It's not a video without me dropping something. We all know that. I'm going to use, last but not least, the Best Lash Mascara by Jordana. And then we're going to set everything with the Scandinavia Oil Control. If this video gets interrupted, one more time, I'm going to flip out. Then for lips, I'm just going to use this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Angel Food Cake. This is my favorite lip gloss, these um, NYX Butter Glosses. Oh my goodness. And this color is my favorite. This one, and I think the other one that I like is called Eclair. 
or no, creme brulee, creme brulee. But this is like your lips, but better. So I love it. It looks like, you know, you have a little something going on. I don't know, to me it just like pulls the look together. But these, seriously, these lip glosses literally feel like butter. I love them, they're my favorite lip glosses no matter what. And they're like, I don't know, $4. So this is the final look. Um, obviously, it does look like you have a full face of makeup on. That's why I love it. Um, but it really doesn't take long to do. This video was probably a little bit longer because I'm sitting here talking through it. But it's really, really easy. Um, you know, you're not really, you're using a lot of the same stuff that I used on my face, on my eyes. So it's, you know, you don't have to grab for a bunch of products, which is great. Um, but you still look put together. I really love wearing this when I go to work and I'm like pressed for time because we have to have a full face of makeup on. So. I really love that and then you know on just days where you don't want to have a lot of makeup on but you still want to look like you know this is that look for you so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions or comments of course leave those down below don't forget to subscribe and thumbs this video up if you did enjoy it also um, follow me on snapchat Instagram Twitter wherever so that we can you know become friends and chill and talk and whatever I love talking to people about makeup or just everyday life so if you need a friend I'll be your friend because I love making new friends other than that thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye and I take the Kat Von D lock it fat fat Two. lock it fat Two. so I'm using this brush by bodyography Hey, I'm filming a video. Let me call you back. Uh, hurry up. <laughs> Bye. My friends hate when I film videos. They're like, um, why do you sit in your house and talk to yourself, like, on camera? They just don't get it. I forgot we wanted to take our hair down. I was going to pull my hair down for this video, but we're just going to keep it up because we're running errands today.